everyone and welcome back. Let's take a closer look at how the biome system works in its current state. As mentioned before, biomes are the makeup of different types of ecosystems, climate, and temperature across the globe. They can also be looked at here as different zones, massed areas, or simply layers. The biome system is structured in a layer-based way. We can add any number of biomes to this list. We can even restructure them by dragging them up or down the list to change their hierarchy. This introduces the feature where a biome can become a parent or child biome, meaning we can have primary biomes with one or more secondary biomes within any number of other primary biomes. The order at which you choose biomes is only relative within the primary biome, and the order at which you choose the primary biomes is only relative within a larger group of primary biomes. Additionally, you can specify any custom shaping, filters or effects, materials, or types of foliage per biome layer. Before we go too far, let's look at just one additional biome at a time. So we've added just one biome here, and you'll see that the settings are the same as the global biome settings. Each biome you make will have the same options on how to adjust for its own fractal noise properties. But now that we have a second biome, we can choose how this biome reacts to the previous one or vice versa. The operation setting is our initial setup for any new biome. Overwrite simply takes over any previous biome's fractal noise, and in doing so, this one essentially becomes the new primary. None means this biome has no influence on the fractal noise, but can still be used to apply filters and textures. And add means the fractal noise of this biome will be multiplied on top of the previous biome's detail, which if you have different levels of details for different use cases, you can get some interesting combinations here. Inherit filters means that any filters that are applied in the previous biome will then appear in the area on the terrain this biome appears in. The operation simply is guiding the fractal noise between biomes. This toggle is guiding the appearance of filtering between those biomes. Let's go ahead and select our global biome to look at the settings below. And then let's go ahead and click the biome toggle so we can see which of these biomes are affecting the terrain. Right now, we only see the secondary biome color populating the terrain, and that's again because we have the operation set to overwrite, and we haven't told the program how to deviate the distribution of these two biomes. At some point, we can hand paint in a mask for where we want these to appear, but right now, let's look at the procedural options. Here at the bottom, we have the sub-biomes percentage. This drives how much the secondary or sub-biomes will populate the terrain in relation to the parent biome. For example, if we add a few more sub-biomes, we can see they are procedurally scattered across the terrain. But if we want the global biome to come forth some and reduce the amount of influence the sub-biomes are making, we can lower this slider to an amount we are happy with. Additionally, we can also adjust each biome's influence individually by the percentage sliders respectively. Let's assume now we just have the global biome and one sub-biome with the sub-biome percentage set to 50%. That way we can see both of these biomes have a pretty even spread on the terrain. The biome seed will randomize the procedural masking of these two biomes, much like our fractal noise seeds. Cluster will adjust how many times the seed is split up or grouped together. Grid scale will adjust the scale of the seed value. Noise strength will adjust the octave noise between the two biomes at how they are blended together along the seam. And noise scale will adjust the scale of the overall noise strength. Lastly, we have the blend range between these two biomes. At its current setting, the transition between these two biomes is a sharp fall off, but by adjusting the lower or upper sliders, we can blend the two biomes in one direction or another. This gives you greater control to give more hierarchy to one biome or simply smooth the two together for an easy transition. If you were to add more sub-biomes, their blend ranges will appear in the primary biome list. Whichever subbiome is on top will be the biome that takes precedent over the other subbiomes in this list. 
So keep in mind how you structure the hierarchy of your biomes when it comes to these blend ranges below. With more primary and secondary biomes, you can come up with some easy or interestingly complex combinations to design different areas of your terrain. Biomes will be a topic we come back to more and more as time goes on, so be sure to check back again later for future updates and improvements. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.